Hi, I'm Lisa Martin with Pamper Chef and welcome to my Keto Kitchen. Um, today we are going, are going to make the most awesome angel food cake on Keto. So let me show you what I've been doing. Um, it has a lot of good nutrients in it and it is so, so flavorful. So let me show you. Um, what I'm going to do is please like my videos, please share them, please subscribe to them. What I'm going to do is put the recipe below like I always do on the first one. Um, but I'm so, so excited about this Angel Food Keto and I made it before and it is so, so yummy. So you need a half a cup of coconut flour, which is this, and it's the cheaper one. The almond flour is more. This is cheaper. I think I got it at Walmart even. Uh, a tablespoon of baking powder. A fourth of a teaspoon of xanthan gum, whatever you call it. This is really, really good. I mean, this guy even signs the back of it. So if you're willing to put your name on the back of it, it's good stuff. And then I'm going to add this to it. You can actually use this for flour. So I'm going to try that today. And then you need three-fourths cup of powdered sugar, which I have right here. And a teaspoon of vanilla, okay? And then five drops of liquid stevia. And I just use the stevia because you can't taste it anyways. And then, of course, we have to have 10 eggs. <laughs> so what I've done is I have used my 10 eggs. And if you're not, if you're using, if your eggs are not room temperature, then put them in some hot water and let them get room temperature. They're so much easier to deal with when you do it that way. So I've got my egg whites separated, okay, and they're all in here. So I separated them and I beat in the egg. Now I'm going to beat in the egg yolks. Okay. And I wanted them separated. Why? I don't know. Um, so you just mix them up really, really good. And you're supposed to beat in eggs, eight eggs, but I had already used it because you used two of them for the cup, for the top of it. Um, but I had already. Uh, mixed them up so I couldn't pick, take two of them out. I didn't know how many was there. So now I'm going to um, mix everything in. So I need a half a cup of coconut flour, which is already measured in our measure all. These are so amazing. They come in a cup, a set of three. So I've already got that. Okay, I'm going to put that there. And then I need a tablespoon of this. And I use our big you can't use too much of this. This is baking powder. So put that in there. And a fourth of a teaspoon of this xanthan gum. Okay. Well, great for, this is a great thing for fiber. Okay. So you put that in. And I'm going to put a fourth of a teaspoon of this flax seed. You probably could put more, but since I'm just now trying it, I better put like two or three. I'm, I don't want it to go overboard in it. We need a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. And you can eyeball it if you want to. Okay. You can't use too much of that. And then three-fourths of a cup of this. So I'm just going to use the same measuring device that I used before. Now this doesn't have crumbles in it, so it's going to be a little, you might want to sift it, okay? Because it's gonna have little lumps in it because it don't have the um, preservatives in it to keep the lumps, to keep it away. Okay, now I'm going to start mixing, okay, because I still gotta add the liquid stevia. Okay, and it just smells so good. You will absolutely love this, this is great for this time of year and for a sweet tooth. I see a lot of people saying, I have a sweet tooth. You're not gonna be able to get past your sweet tooth. You have to find alternatives. And so that's what I did is I searched the internet and I tried different ones and they like some of them just gag you. So now I can use this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. used 10 instead of five. <laughs> Cause I like mine extra, extra sweet. And then I'm so, so excited. I got the Pampy Chef pan. And a lot of the recipes say that you have to um, 
you have to butter the pan, but really, and you'd have to spray this. But I did mine, and I didn't spray it. I had forgotten to, and I just poured it all in, and I'm telling you, it was so, it was not stuck to it. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to bake it on 325 for 45 minutes. So here's your batter. Here is your batter. And see how flavorful you can tell it's flavorful. Now, if you wanted to make this chocolate, you could add the chocolate to it. But I just want to make a sugar, just kind of pour it around so that it's got a good... Now, when I first started using this almond flour and coconut flour, I could taste coconuts and almonds all, you know, when I, I chew it, you know. But now that I'm used to it, I don't even notice it. And you could make your own um, flour if you had some almonds. Mmm. I'm telling you, you can eat it right. And I know people say, well, that's eating raw eggs. We all did it back in the day. We ate... Um, cookie dough, all that. But look how pretty that is. Isn't that so, so pretty? And it smells good. Please like my videos. Please share them. Please subscribe. And I'll see you back here on the next video. Thank you and have a wonderful day.